In this video, we're going to determine whether the following lines intersect, and if so, find their point of intersection. So let's focus on A. So to find where these, oh well, to determine whether the following lines intersect first, uh, we're going to put one equation equal to the other. We're going to get a top, middle, and bottom row. So the top row will be 1 take away 5 lambda is equal to minus 9 plus 2 mu. Then the middle row, we've got minus 3 plus 3 lambda is equal to minus 36 take away 9 mu. And then the bottom row, we've got 2 plus lambda is equal to 21 plus 3 mu. So we're going to have equation 1, 2, and 3. Now, I'm going to rearrange and simplify the first two equations, solve those, check in the third. So what I'll do is I'll add 5 lambda to both sides and just reorganize uh, the equal sign. So 5 lambda plus 2 mu, add the 9 to both sides, is going to be equal to 10. And here we're going to add the 9 mu to both sides. So 3 lambda plus 9 mu, and then add 3 to both sides, gets us minus 33. Now I know I can divide through that second equation by 3, but I'm just going to pop these equations into my simultaneous equation to solve on my calculator. Okay, so uh, 5, 2, 10, 3, 9, minus 33. So we should get lambda is 4 and mu is minus 5. So now what we want to do is check in equation 3. So the left hand side is 2 plus lambda, so 2 plus 4, which is 6. And the right-hand side is 21 plus 3 lots of mu. So 21 plus 3 lots of minus 5, which is 21 take away 15, which is 6. So the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Therefore, uh, the lines intersect. So what we're left to do is to work out the point of intersection. Now you've got a lambda and a mu here, so you can either substitute lambda into this or substitute mu into this. Okay, so uh, they intersect, intersect at, so let's substitute lambda in. So it's the same as substituting lambda into that, effectively. 1 take away 5 lots of 4, minus 3 plus 3 lots of 4 and 2 plus 4. So 1 take away 20, so minus 19, minus 3 plus 12 is 9, and 2 plus 4 is 6. So minus 19, 9, 6 is the point of intersection. Right, let's take a look at B. So we're going to do a similar job. Uh, so we need the top row, minus 2 plus lambda is equal to 46 plus 5 mu. Then we've got 7 take away 2 lambda is equal to 32 plus mu. And then we've got 3 take away 2 lambda is equal to minus 93 take away 10 mu. So equation 1, 2, and 3. So let's sort out equations 1 and 2. So I'm going to subtract 5 mu from both sides. So lambda take away 5 mu and add 2 to both sides, so 48. And then we've got, let's add the 2 lambda to both sides and subtract 32 from both sides. So 7 take away 32, so minus 25. So here are our two equations, which we now want to solve. So I'm just going to use the simultaneous equation solver to do it. So 1 minus 5, 48. 2, 1 minus 25. We should get lambdas minus 7. 
and mu is minus 11. So we can either substitute, well, so we're going to check in equation 3 like we did last time, and then we'll see if we're in the point of intersection or not. So check in 3. So the left-hand side, 3 take away 2 lots of minus 7. Uh, so that's 3 plus 14, so 17. And then for the right-hand side, we've got minus 93 take away 10 lots of minus 11. Uh, so minus 93 plus 10 lots of 11 is 17. So minus 93 plus 110 is 17. So the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Therefore, uh, the lines intersect. So now we just need to find the point of intersection. So we're going to substitute either lambda equals minus 7 into this equation, or mu equals minus 11 into that one. Doesn't matter which. Uh, so I'm going to substitute lambda is minus 7. So minus 2 uh, plus minus 7. 7 take away 2 lots of minus 7. And then 3 take away 2 lots of minus 7. So minus 2 take away 7 is minus 9. And uh, we've got 7 plus 14 is 21. Uh, 3 plus 14 gets us 17. Okay, so minus 9, 21, 17 uh, are the points, is the point of intersection.